so legend a dragon ball tale is still being watched still being talked about and a lot of y'all are actually still discussing theories and a lot of speculation in my videos which i'm very happy about because it has led us here to exactly what i predicted back in my reaction and that is that we're going to be talking about this for a very long time let's get into it so what's going on guys it's your boy Ooch, and of course we are back again once again how y'all doing today so today on this episode video whatever we're gonna be talking about goku now like i mentioned and i've been actually responding to as many comments as i possibly can so i guess this is a really quick plug make sure you guys are continuing to like share and leave your comments in these videos um because it obviously does help and i will give a really really awesome shout out to all of you guys right now because in the last several days we've actually gained like over 600 subscribers because of legend i'm definitely gonna put it on legend so it's been a pretty big deal as i didn't expect but after watching how amazing it was the first time again plugging the reaction one more time i didn't think it was gonna be this 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 od right but it's that exciting because it's that good so let's talk about goku today the reason why i want to talk about goku is i want to more specifically talk about some points that i wanted to you know bring about to you to you guys to talk about more about his origin so the things that we know know about goku are kind of up in the air with some things that we can already tell like for example this beginning of the story of legend basically takes place in dragon ball right so if we're gonna look at the legend continuity as its own retelling reimagining of dragon ball into dragon ball z legend basically takes place in two different points now, if you missed out on my time travel Vegeta, the future Vegeta uh, breakdown theory video, go and check that out. But pretty much what I said was that that time at the beginning of this movie literally takes place at a future point. And I don't we don't really know how far off into the future that actually is. But the idea and the belief is that Vegeta is actually from another timeline or you know just from the future altogether right and this is not really speculation anymore because i can confirm to you guys that based off of nasir's comment to me on that video it does seem like we're in the right track so there's some shout outs to that because that's really dope that you know obviously we're getting confirmation from the creator um saying that well yeah i mean you know if, if that's what it seems like it, it seems pretty good so I'm talking about goku right so we obviously know that there's two points um happening in time that we're at least seeing in this movie and right now this is basically episode 137 of dragon ball that i've already mentioned in the initial breakdown video that was like 55 minutes long that i did so aside from that i want to ask this question right what is his true origin in this continuity how did he get here did he get here the traditional way the original way i guess we should say how you know he was sent to earth because there was this whole situation going on with planet vegeta like did all of that even happen because as we're also kind of on the same right track with these predictions and speculations is that if we're going to believe that af means after frieza well what the hell happened if they truly did defeat frieza and why did they send goku there was it bardock that sent them don't worry i'm gonna do a video about bardock soon yes that's gonna be for another day right but it does kind of relate to this because we it does ask the question what the hell is goku's origin here did he get here on similar terms did bardock send him basically to essentially protect him like he did in the original or was this an idea that actually someone in the comments mentioned and i'm sorry i i, I forgot to pull the names right now i'm shouting out whoever uh brought this idea all right because i didn't think of this myself but the idea basically is instead of the saiyans being known as just these ravaging brutes now they're more in tune with how their power works right the primal light and everything so if that's the case and they understand that it takes emotion and things to kind of happen it's almost like the power of loss in a sense right that 
helps these saiyans unlock their you know potential in this case their primal light helps them go further beyond and all those puns that we can obviously plug there right maybe it's because of those reasons that they sent goku down there so that he could you know eventually get into a relationship and build bonds and if anything were to happen to those bonds that would help unlock whatever's inside him that was a great concept and a great comment again i'm so sorry to whoever said that and i'm not giving you the the proper praise but you do you hopefully you know who you are and i'm sure that y'all are gonna go and maybe find exactly who said that because i was responding like i said to a lot of people in the comments the other point that um i was trying to make is that i was bringing up the part where goku towards the end of this movie where he says stop calling me that right he don't like being called kakarot right so in this scene this is a part where originally when i was first watching this i was really contemplating like did goku and vegeta actually have a previous encounter and the answer to that question is maybe for vegeta maybe not so much for goku because when you watch this back there is really no indication from goku that he has any idea who vegeta is at all he has no idea but that's that remains to be seen because you know then again they could have that's a possibility but just off of how they were acting or how goku was acting we didn't really get to see too many shots of how his reaction was when vegeta crash landed in the middle of this fight once goku got taken out by broly that was when vegeta just kind of stole the show literally and it wasn't until chi chi stepped in and helped goku become the savior from heaven right the idea here that i'm trying to uh break down for y'all and just to you know get this conversation going is did kakarai or <laughs> did goku actually know who vegeta was beforehand i personally don't think this goku did but if we're gonna believe this whole time travel theory i'm wondering if vegeta does know of goku in some way because again he was sent here for a reason and that much is confirmed within the description of the movie itself if we want to reference this real quick check it out for yourselves it says right here objective number one eradication objective number two package retrieval what the hell is the package is clearly goku vegeta came with a warning similar to how trunks came with a warning to prepare goku and the rest of them uh from the androids that was coming on so vegeta's the warning is the war that's about to happen right so i feel like if we're gonna really believe this whole time travel theory i think that whether it was some other type of goku vegeta has had some previous knowledge about kakarot because he came knowing he came all knowing he knew who he knew where goku was he knew about him it was almost like he was expecting for goku to transform and when you go back and watch look at his reaction all right there right so vegeta it's almost like vegeta knew right it's almost as if like he was expecting for something like that to happen and then towards the end obviously when he's explaining that your light is out of control but it needs to be refined so it can be useful i just love how interesting this story is right so the other points that i wanted to bring up um again vegeta teaching him about his saiyan birthright and all that stuff so it does like i said it does seem like this goku has no idea of his own true origin it, we can actually go with that just based off of the i well not even just the idea but the facts that even though goku starts off this film with chi chi and he basically is in the final ending moments with vegeta we don't really see a whole lot of interaction with goku as far as his uh dialogue we don't see a lot of dialogue from him we don't we don't see his reactions to things as much so it kind of gives us a lot more questions that we need answers for right so again quick plug to the next year patreon because y'all need to definitely be subscribing to patreon and i've been talking in this year and I've been, i'm trying to tell them to set up like a ko-fi account or something so that way people can literally just donate as much money as they as they want right because his highest tier right now is three hopefully i'm hoping he raises his tiers um but that's besides the point the other thing i wanted to bring up was the whole marrying chi chi to start a family right and the reason why i bring that up right is i think that this part at the end could actually kind of hint that if that does happen, let's say part two comes around, that does not mean that it's gonna literally take place moments after this. Imagine 
there's a time skip. If Goku listens to Vegeta's advice, if he heeds his advice, and he goes off and he marries Chi Chi, I mean, who knows? Because think about it. In Dragon Ball Z, nothing has ever been instant. There's always minor time skips when it comes to these things in Dragon Ball. Like, there's some big event that's gonna happen, and then there's time in between when it actually happens. Like, even when Trunks came back with the warning, it wasn't like the next day that the android showed up. If that happens, Goku could actually you know live out however many days left under the sun until it is time to truly prepare or who's to say that preparing could be done here the other idea is are they going to involve the hyperbolic time chamber these are real things that we have to ask because i'm telling you <laughs> anything is possible and i think that the legend continuity is full of those possibilities and it's super exciting to talk about so again let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments because there's so much to dig in and I will, of course, love to make more of these videos to continue the hype and the conversation because, by the, dude, I'm telling you, this video might hit 10 million by the time there's any other kind of announcement of a next part or anything like that or by the time the the goal of getting the stray studio dogs their earnings right because that's what that's what Nasir wants to do he wants to get that 15,000 mark on patreon so that way he can actually hire out his people and pay them right you know because this whole project was done with zero budget let me remind you guys that the other thing is uh, so yeah this kind of relates to what i was saying with this whole time skip right the war doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be instant so i really you know want to just em put emphasis on that that is obviously what we're kind of building towards but i don't think like let's say they do make another like another part i don't think the war is going to be there i feel like they might start showing what happens from now and then we might see some other angles from other characters that could play a role and what i'm also gonna say is that this time skip that could happen right part two could literally be the beginning of z in a sense because a lot of people was asking me what about gohan what about trunks what you know what i'm saying there's your there's your fucking answer <laughs> One last thing that I do want to bring up about Goku before we completely wrap this up. So this epic part right here, this is this this shit is one of those things that needs to be framed and put on your wall. You know what I'm saying? This part was epic. Now I mentioned this in one of the recent videos that I did about Legend, right? And I said Goku's power when he is in this uh, savior of heaven form, he has the power to share his light with others, including techniques. And it seems like that's actually something that is a direct takeaway from the journey to the West. And that's actually what Sun Wukong can actually do. That's one of his abilities. So the fact that Nasir is literally taking more from the original, original source material and implementing it into the legend continuity is fucking fire. <laughs> So I was right. I obviously bring that up because I was right. I wanted to talk about it and just be like, hey, yeah, it's con it's confirmed. Like, this is Song Wukong to the max. And I mean, Goku has always been Wukong. Let's just, let's just be honest here. Because for those that don't know, all right, Journey to the West, Song Wukong, that's the Chinese name. But translated into Japanese is Son Goku. I don't know too much about Journey to the West, but... uh. I know that much. So there you guys have it. That's about it uh, for this Goku origin theory breakdown kind of video. If there's any other things about Goku's origin that you guys maybe want to dive in a little bit more, obviously leave me, let me know in the comments because I want to see how long we can actually go with dissecting this to the point where there's really nothing left to dissect because then at that point it's just gonna be like okay what if what if what if what if what if and i know that can kind of get out of hand but i mean for something like this i think the what if type of situations is very easy to get into because this is this is a whole brand new continuity that we have lots of questions for and hopefully we'll get some you know more answers soon until then though make sure like i said make sure you guys are leaving your comments your your suggestions for any other theory breakdowns that you want me to do and make sure of course liking the video the most important thing subscribing if you haven't already we're almost at forty thousand subscribers here holy shit <laughs> Uh, yeah let's just keep it going let's just keep the content flowing it's been your boy Ooch. make sure you guys are having a, a great day and take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked with it right here on this channel sub to nasir's patreon we got to get part two asap rocky and i'll see you guys next time